Hi everyone, and in today's video, I'll be doing a tutorial on how you can make a simple dodge game on Scratch. By the end of this video, you'll be able to make a game just like this one, where there'll be three lives and your score increases depending on the amount of time that you spend in this arena. There's also a high score that keeps track of your highest scores during the game. Let's get started with today's tutorial. To start off, let's create another project. Simply go to Scratch and click on Create. This will take you to the project editor. Let's start off with this project. Name the project to Dodge Game. Delete the cat sprite. Choose the cat flying sprite. Then go to the costume tab and delete the cat flying bee costume. Now let's paint another sprite by simply hovering on Choose a Sprite and clicking on Paint. Hold the Shift key and then select the circle to create a perfect circle. I'm going to decrease the size, change the outline to 0 and change the fill color to Cyan. Now I'm going to name this sprite Dodge Ball and name the cat flying sprite to Player. Now we're just going to modify the background by simply typing score, changing the font to marker and fill color to black. And then we want to type the same thing in the bottom but make it high score. And then on the left right side and type lives. Okay, good. Now let's create the variables. So first one is score, second one is high score, and third one is lives. Now we can simply right click on it and change it to large readout and this one is going to be score so we're going to put it right below the text score and same thing for high score right click then change it to large readout right below high score and then for lives same thing large readout. So to start off we're going to drag a one flat clicked Wait, I'm going to go to the cat sprite, the player sprite, and drag a one flat click. We want to set the score to zero, and we want to set the lives to three. You can set how many lives you want. I'm going to make it three. And then forever, we are going to wait one second, and we want to change the score by one. So what this is going to do is every second, every time, every second, it Every second, it's going to change the score by one. So it's changing the score by one. And now what we want to do is, when flat clicked, want to show. And we're first going to make sure that the player can move up and down when the up and down arrow keys are pressed. So when the flag is clicked, we want to show and we want to go to X and Y. We'll make Y zero, so, and I'm gonna make X, mm, yeah, negative 180. Okay, good. Now we're going to drag a forever loop and if then condition. So if key up arrow pressed, we want to change Y by 10. 5 is good. And we're going to duplicate that and change up arrow to down arrow and 5 to negative 5. So now we can move up and down. Now, what we're going to do is we're again going to drag an if then condition. So what we want to do is if it's touching the dodgeball, so if touching dodgeball, we want to wait until it's not touching the dodgeball. 
so not touching the dodgeball. And if it touches the dodgeball, we also want to change the lives by negative one. So change lives by negative one. Now, if the lives are less than one, we want to broadcast a message called game over. So if lives less than one, broadcast message game over. Okay, good. So now we're going to program the high score. So if you have watched our tutorial, we also have made a tutorial on high score, so you could check that out too. So if high score is less than the score, so if the high score is less than the score, then we want to set the high score to score. As simple as that. Okay, so now let's begin by coding the dodgeball. So when the flag is clicked, we want the dodgeball to hide. And then forever, we're gonna drag forever loop. And we want to wait, pick random from one, 1.0 to 2.0 and then we want to create a clone of myself so what this will do is once flag is clicked it's going to hide the ball and then it's going to wait from pick random 1.0 to 2.0 seconds and then create clone of the dodgeball and now i'm going to drag when i start as a clone so what what code we're going to put under this is going to execute when the dodgeball is create when a clone is being created of the dodgeball. So when I start as a clone, we want to show and we want to go to X. So we want to go to position over here. So I'm going to make X as 221, 221. And Y, we're going to pick a random, pick random from negative 100 to positive 100. Let's check it out so far. As you can see, it's shown in a random position from negative 100 to 100. Now we want to drag a repeat until. So repeat until. We want to repeat until the X position is less than negative 211. And then we want to change X by negative 5 and then delete this clone. So what this will do is when I start as a clone, it's gonna go to X as 221 and Y as pick random negative 100 to 100, which is around here. And repeat until, so this is whatever you put under this loop will execute. And it's gonna repeat until the X position is less than negative 211 and then it's just going to delete this clone so 211 is somewhere over here so when it reaches this edge it's going to just simply delete that clone now once again we're going to drag when i start as a clone and then we're going to drag for our loop and inside the forever loop we're going to drag an if then condition so if it's touching the player we want to delete that clone but you have to wait zero seconds. So make sure you add wait zero seconds. Otherwise, I don't think it'll work. So then I delete this clone. Okay, let's check the game out so far. This is actually pretty much completed, but we still have to add the game over sprite. Okay, it's working. Now we're going to paint another sprite and we're going to use the text tool to type game over. Increase the size so that it's visible. Align it to the center onto pixel. Color red, 
aligned to the center. So now let's code that one. So when the flag is clicked, we want to go to x and y, 0, 0, and hide. So when I receive game over, which we broadcasted when the lives is less than one. So when I receive game over, we want to switch costume. Never mind that. So we want to switch costume to costume one and show and stop all. It's not necessary to switch costume to costume one. So previously, I also added that if the score is 50, then I also made another costume, which says you win. And yeah, if the score is equal to 50, then we want to switch the costume to costume 2, which is you win. But I didn't do that because I wanted to add the high score variable. Okay, great. So now let's check it out. I'm going to purposely touch a few dodgeballs. Lives is decreasing and also when the lives has become zero, then the game over sprite has popped up. And another thing we want to do is for the player. So when I receive game over, we want the player to hide. Okay, great. So that's it with the tutorial on how to make a dodge game. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave our videos a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.